Hi everyone, it's iCrafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super pretty California Blossom. This was designed by Fangirl Looms, and you may notice that these two look different. This one is bigger, and I like this one better. Now for this one, at the end of the petals, I pulled two bands through, and this one I didn't, so this one's more cramped, but if you want to get this look, then just don't add these final two white bands when we get to that point in the tutorial. Make sure to post this on Instagram if you make it under the hashtag fangirl looms and hashtag iCrafts stuff. Also take us both in a photo and let's get started. So today we'll need a hook as well as some bands. So today I'll be using limited edition mixed neon bands. Basically you just need 15 bands per segment and I can do, you can do five or six, I'm doing five. And then you'll need one band to hold everything together. And by the way, for the hook, I recommend using a crochet hook. So without further ado, let's begin. So I'm going to show you how to make one petal, then you'll have to repeat it four or five more times. So start with your hook and then grab your cat band. Just wrap a band around your hook three times, like that. Then with your next color, you're going to take two bands for the rest of this. So just look carefully and slide the cat band onto those two bands then place the end back on your hook next take two of your next color and I'm not going to say two, your two bands every time just assume that we're using two and pull it through only the first side so just this side and it's a little more difficult with using double band. And then you're going to slide your hook out carefully and then turn the design over and replace it back on your hook. You're going to do the same thing, so I'm taking two yellow bands and pulling them through only the orange. It's okay if your bands are twisted at this point. And now this part is kind of difficult. You're just going to take these two bands and put them on your finger so that there's only three layers. And you can hold on to them, but limited edition bands are, um, they have very good friction, so it's probably not going to fall. And take two green bands and pull them through the middle two layers of double bands so it's actually four. I'm just going to hold on to the yellow. So pull through that and that. And then place the yellow back on your hook so you kind of sandwich the green in the middle like that. And now take the purple and you're going to pull it through half so the first and the first yellow and the first green. Place it back on your hook. And now at this point we have to turn everything around, slide your hook out, and then replace it starting with the purple, then the green, and then the yellow. Of course it depends on the bands you use, but I'm just showing you with my colors. And now do the same thing, so with your purple, pull it through the yellow and the green, so all that's on your hook is purple. And now we're going to do the same thing with the pink that we did with the green. So just lift off the first layer of purple and now I'm going to pull my pink through the middle two layers. Place everything back on your hook. So place the pink on and then the purple. So it should look like that. And now to finish it, just take two of whatever middle band colors you want, pull it through everything on your hook. And that's how you make one petal. I tried to go slowly, so please make sure to pause or uh, rewind the video if you need to see the instructions again, or just pause and make your other petals.
So I recommend storing everything on your loom and then once you've done all five or six, you can just grab your hook and this is going to be kind of a tight squeeze. So you can just scooch them up and carefully fit everything on your hook. Again, a crochet hook is definitely recommended. Even a latch hook would work, but I'm showing you that it's possible to do it on a rainbow loom hook. So now, when you've just barely squeezed everything on, go ahead and take one band, or you can use two for security, and just slide everything onto that single band. And since we use double bands, if, um, if you lose some, then it's probably, your petal's probably not going to fall apart because it's extra secure. And just replace it back on your hook. Might look a little crazy. And then make a slip knot or attach a C-clip. You just wanna be super careful here. And now you can just rearrange these petals. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to get rid of this, it kind of tuck the slip knot, it kind of tucks itself in, but you can just pull it out if you want and use it as an ornament or you can wrap it around one of the petals so it doesn't stick out. And there you have a super cute California blossom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And make sure to go check out my Instagram and Fangirl Looms. I'll put my username down below and her links. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!